So in concluding, we say where meal pack remains liquid, that is, the company will be able to meet all of its short-term obligations. And we see where the largest obligation that will come due this year or within a year's time is the lease payment that the company has to make of some $25 million. Now with the amount of cash the company has on its balance sheet, it will be able to cover this expense quite easily. Also, the company remains solvent. So in the future, in the longer term, all the obligations that are due in the long term, the company seem to have enough resources to cover those long term obligations. So meal pack total liability is just 14% of total asset, meaning the other 84% or 86% of total asset is shareholders money. And that is sufficient to cover all the long-term obligations that may fall due given that management does not squander shareholders' value. So mail packs seem to have good management skill because we see where the company does not have any debt on its balance sheet. And not having any debt on your balance sheet does not mean the company isn't using other people's money so this is very this is a genius move by meal pack where they do not use any debt because debt has a cost so they avoid using debt and with severe management is using other mean of using people's money so management is finding other ways and means of using people money. And you see that in the lease contracts that the company has. And as I said, these lease contracts that the company has are really purchase, are really purchasing of assets. So the company is purchasing assets, but the company finds a way to do this without the outlaying of cash up front right so that is genius on the path of management but we see where management squander shareholders value by paying dividends of over 200 million dollars now you might ask how the shareholders value gets squandered dividends is taxed at 15 percent so each time management pay a dividend the government will get 15% of whatever money is spent. So over $200 million, you see where the government would get over $30 million of shareholders' money. That could be used in the business to do development and search for growth in the business. Because we see where the improvement that takes place in property plant and equipment in the six months leading up to June 2021 was $40 million. Now that $30 million that, is, that goes back into the government's coffer could be used to double whatever improvement that was made in property plant and equipment. Now, this is saying two things to me. It could be that meal pack or management cannot find enough business in meal pack's operation to consume all of this cash. And hence, the growth projection that the market is putting on the meal pack's stock might not be correct. All right. But it also could mean that management's interest is not in alignment with shareholders' interests. In that, management have other businesses outside of mail packs operation. So those businesses might need funding. All right, and we see where management use some of mail packs resources already 
to learn monitor some of those business at no interest rate and no repayment period all right so it could be that these business need funding desperately and management is pulling his portion of the meal pack's value to fund these other business even if that means losing some money to the government all right so that's one way to look at that but the meal pack operation in by nature is is a cash cow most of the money that the company gets from customer is is front loaded meaning that you pay for the service before you get service all right so that result in the company having a lot of cash so what i believe mailpack wants is a capital allocator on the management team right because instead of paying those dividends i was thinking that the company could have bought some stocks or buy other businesses and help to grow shareholders value right so that's it but in terms of the price of meal pack i believe the company's price as a growth stock currently the company is selling at three dollars and 87 cents all right and that gives it a PE a four a, four, a trillion a trillion PE of 21.5 21x which is above its industry average so it is trading above the industry average when we look at the price to book we're, we're seeing a 19 it is selling at 19 times book where again the its industry average is 8.7 times book this sells the company as a growth stock right so what we need to do is to try and assess if the company has the potential to grow at the rate that the market is projecting and trust me I am really doubtful that the company will grow at that rate now mark you the company is a wonderful company right is a very good company but there are some headwinds that the company faces one the, com the landscape in which a company operates is really competitive, right? And the barriers to entry in that industry is very, very, very low. All right, and that is the reason why you see where meal pack is giving up a lot of free stuff, right? It is because of the competition and and people within the, the the space is competing on price because it's a service that cannot be differentiated all right so within that space it's a it's a it's a race to the bottom so it's a they are competing on price so at current market price meal packs return on equity is four percent and that is the reason why mail packs seem very unattractive to me at this price so we are looking at a wonderful company but at this price the company is unattractive because the return on equity would fall to as low as four percent However, if the stock should trade anywhere in the $2 range, then it would be a good time to get into this stock and wait out the ride. <laughs>